everyone, I'm back with my resistance band. I love my resistance band, but I'm not here to do any dance fitness. I'm actually here to do connection fitness. And I'm lucky today because I have a refrigerator that allows me to loop my TheraBand through the handle and use it as my dance partner. If I don't have a refrigerator that has this type of thing, I can do it with a drawer. I can even do it with a banister of a staircase. Even though it is stationary, it will still give me a sense of connection. So this connection drill is perfect to do whether you have or have not a partner to practice with. So as I mentioned, I'm lose, uh, looping this on the handle, and this allows me to give a little bit of tension and resistance or opposition without going so far as to open the refrigerator. So that's why I like a refrigerator or a drawer as my first choice with this, because it will open if I'm pulling a little too much. A banister, like I said, would work, but it's never gonna open or let me know I'm, I'm pulling too much. So this is a perfect opportunity for me to work one hand, the other hand, perhaps both hands, and work on my connection in opposition. So you see that I'm moving my core behind the heel of my forward foot. Of course, I am in third foot position. This is really great for any swing dance like modern jive or West Coast swing. And I am increasing the tension using my core to lead back or pulling my belt buckle behind me and creating tension in my TheraBand. As I mentioned earlier, I'm not going so deep that I'm opening the refrigerator. I love that. <laughs> if I were to pull on my arms independently, which I'm not supposed to do in connection, that shows me right there, I've gone too far. However, if I'm using my entire body to increase the depth of my opposition connection, then I'm able to create the resistance without opening the door. As I mentioned, we can do that in one hand, we can do that in the other, or as I already demonstrated with two hands. It's also really great if we're working maybe perhaps a side pass and an underarm turn. We can keep the TheraBand from going gooey, of course. We keep a slight tension in there, just enough not to let it go slack. And we can go to the extent of what might be our slot or our track without going so far that we're sacrificing our posture or frame. And then we can go ahead and dance into that space, creating the resistance that we might have with a partner. So I can do that with my other hand. So that would have been, let's say, a left side pass. <laughs> if I'm using the other hand, that might be a right side or an underarm turn. So I keep that slight tension just so that it doesn't go slack. And then as I increase my resistance, I just make sure that I'm not going so far or perhaps engaging my arm and doing that the wrong way. I feel like there was one other thing that I wanted to add on here before I wrap the video. But if it's important, we'll add another video at a later time. So have fun, enjoy, play with that TheraBand and increase your prowess when it comes to connection.